everyone. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. So today's pick a card reading, I'll be doing three different piles as I've always done. And this today's reading is basically another messages from the universe. Um, it wasn't really specifically on a, a certain message, but I did ask, I kind of was pushed to do the reading on how we can align ourselves with our path, right? Um, how, not really like what is your purpose, but what steps can we take to start to go into that direction, to go into the direction, to take the correct steps or start to align ourselves with that path. And this can be, you know, maybe one step, two steps or, or whatever. It's like um, just some messages from spirit that I wanted to like bring up because I feel, and I felt like this myself, you know, a lot of us, we, we sometimes we feel, um, it comes down here, sometimes we feel like we're lost or stuck, or we're doing certain things for, to make a living, but we're not feeling fulfilled with that. For some people that have been able to find that path with themselves and be able to make a living, provide for their stuff, for themselves, their family, and also feel that that like uplifting fulfillment that they're they're doing their their soul's purpose their work that they were meant to do that's an amazing thing and I think all of us wish that we can find that and um I kind of love getting I love getting readings like this and I also like to get watch pick a card readings myself on topics of this so this isn't necessarily a life purpose reading but more what can we each do to start to go in that direction, to kind of to go into the direction of the river, to flow with the universe's energy, okay? Because when we're flowing with the universe's energy, um, things start to happen in a way where like things, like it's not even a coincidence anymore. We're meeting the right people. We're getting to places at the right time where uh, everything is kind of aligned, right? And it's it's like the universe is pushing and obviously it's still gonna be work for us because you know we're here in this incarnation to do work and there, there's still gonna be challenges. You know, it's not always gonna be free flowing. There's gonna be challenging people at the same time. But what can we do to start to walk into that direction? For some of us that may be feeling still a little bit lost. Um, so I have three piles and I do Usu Reiki um, on the side so I kind of wanted to use my my crystals so for the first pile I have here um, the uh, Hansa, Hansa Shenzo Nen I can't say this so this is for pile one um, Heiseki is pile two the Gilded Tarot pile one is the is the Rider Way Tarot okay and the Chokure crystal is with the Angel Tarot so you can pick one, two, or three. You can pause the video, uh, do like a meditation if you need to, and try to ask spirit to help guide you to pick the correct pile, whatever is calling to you. And if you are getting called to two piles or all three, there's possibly a message in all of the decks for you, or there's some a message somewhere in there for you. And like I always like to do, um, I'll pull some cards from the tarot, but I also like to ask Archangel Michael message I like to ask Archangel Raphael for any healing messages um, I also like to um, uh, I'm going to see at the same time of getting you these messages I like to see where like everybody's energy is at and so I'll just kind of pull some love um, love messages from the romance oracle and the, and the lovers oracle and uh, the abundance angel uh, deck that I have here because I these are messages that I feel like, what what do we need to do? What kind of steps we need to take or we can take to go into the right direction? But also, where is our energy at right now? So if there's something that you there's something that you don't like that, that I say, um, maybe you can change. You could tweak your energy a little bit to start moving into the right direction. And also, I will be uh, reading um, a message from the mermaid and the dolphin. Uh, oracle because I feel like those are um, it's a kind of like different dimensions like guides from different dimensions that can give us guidance also and also the magical dimensions oracle that I have uh, that sort of basically is messages from the universe so like any messages from different beings and different guides from different dimensions that could be giving us messages because I do believe 
uh, whole, wholeheartedly that a lot of us that are here um, are not from this dimension. We come from different dimensions, different star systems, and we are meant to come to this earth plane to teach humanity, to uplift humanity, to heal humanity, and all of us come with different jobs, different skills, okay? And some of us are, are maybe not from different dimensions, but we are still meant to come here. You know, all of us come with a different spark, and that spark is meant to bring something of value to this earth plane, to the beings on this earth plane, okay? So I hope this makes sense, and I will read, and I also did a little meditation for each pile, and I have that written down, kind of like a scripting that I do, and I will read those messages at the end of each uh, of the card pulls, okay? So just pause the video when you um, do your little meditation, and I will start with pile one. Hope everyone's doing well. So I totally butchered this name. It is Han Shaze Shonen, okay? So this is uh, the, the symbol of distance healing, okay? But So we'll start with you guys, all of you. And basically what today's reading is about is um, asking for messages from the universe, uh, as my last reading was. And my question was, how can they better align with their path? What steps to take to get... Um, closer to their life path purpose alignment okay guidance from your spirit guides okay so let's ask your spirit guides what can we do what can pile one do to get into better alignment to get into the flow of their life to get closer to their life path what steps can they take oh my gosh immediately this one I'll pull this one out because it, the pile kind of opened up right there. Walking away, that's like the first message right there. I hope you can see that. Okay, Spirit, what what steps can pile one take to start to align themselves with their life path, with their life purpose? What can they do? Cups is spirit is guiding a lot of you to start to take steps to walk away from an old situation, something that's holding you back. Maybe it's a job, a relationship, um, uh, certain people that you have been around, like maybe your whole life, like old friendships. Not to cut people off necessarily, but to start to to break away a little bit and start to go on to something that's been calling you, something that makes you happy, okay? Maybe there's some interest that some of you have that maybe, like, if you bring it up, people are like, oh, that's weird, or that's like, you know, like, for example, I love talking about aliens, and <laughs> I believe in aliens and, like, weird stuff, like conspiracy theories sometimes, and sometimes when I talk about that stuff around pe certain people, they look at me like I'm a crazy person, um, so, and, and, like, I don't mind that, whatever, but, like, for some of you, you kind of hold a lot of yourself back because you're afraid of people's opinions or feel like you're going to be judged, but what I'm sensing here is that they want you to start to walk this, uh, walk into this direction right here of, things that interest you, right? And it's going to start, this is going to start the flow for you, okay? Start to um, go into maybe going outside more as well, I'm seeing here, going outside, getting into nature more, um, going into doing just whatever is interesting all of you, go to start stepping towards that, all right? Taking a little bit of time every single day and going, it's basically like, once you start to step into this, spirit is saying that it'll just start to, the energy will start to just build up around you and you're gonna find so much fulfillment with that. Fulfillment and happiness and you're just going to start attracting people that are like you as well and it's just gonna be, um, 
uh, what, what is like a snowball effect, okay? And this is going to be bringing you, this is the pentacles here, the ten of pentacles, like fulfillment and happiness with your home life, like everything, like you're feeling sustained, you're feeling like you're, you're fulfilled with that, like you're, you don't have to worry about money, about your, like, yeah, finances, stability, okay, this the, the pentacles all about stability here, and you're going to feel like when you start to pull in, doing, going, walking towards the things that you really love to do, will start to change the energy around you, okay, so you're going to be vibrating with this, like, happiness, Vibe, this love vibe. I love my life. I'm happy. The more you pay attention and you direct your energy towards the things that you really love to do, you will start to attract people like that. And it's just going to continue. This energy is going to still build, start building around you. And you're going to have this sense of stability and uh, security that knowing that you have people like you, that you have a, sort of like you're starting your, not starting a new family, but you, you've cre you're creating a family away from your family and that you can feel so comfortable with you like feel at home with these people okay and this knight of swords here it's like fast like energy like once you start getting into this flow this taking these small steps to get to this next area of your life that you want to walk towards this knight of swords here is just showing how fast things are going to start to manifest for you things are going to be flowing for you all right um See that I I kicked the camera and everything fell over. So what spirit is basically saying is that once you start to take the steps away from things that are no longer fulfilling you and start to walk into this river, like this flow, right? There's like what I'm what I'm seeing in my in my head right now. It's like you're standing over here, right? And there's this like turning energy here, like a cyclone type of energy and once you start to step into it it's just going to pull you in and not in a negative way but you just start it's going to start going and you're going to be flowing you're going to get into your path and things will start to just manifest it's like you're getting into the river you're not going against the current right that's what I'm what I'm getting from this and the wheel of fortune right here is like the, the vortex or the channel of energy and this is going to bring you deep fulfillment and a sense of family and stability, security. And once you start to move into this direction, into this nice direction, this Knight of Swords energy, things will be starting to move so fast for you, okay? Things where maybe you felt like the stagnation, blocks, this is all going to be fast moving energy. So let's ask Archangel Michael for any messages that he has. and. What, uh, Archangel Michael, what messages do you have for Pile 1 regarding how they can get into a better alignment with their path? What steps can they do, can they take to get into alignment with their path? Archangel Michael. Spend more time outdoors. I think I said that when I was looking at this. They want you to spend more time outdoors. There's like really good energy. Like literally, we have the earth has everything that we need. Okay, the earth gives us all the food, water, you know, that we need. The you know, the earth always provides for us. And if we've been spending too much time indoors or just feeling like maybe like uh, depressed feelings or sadness, this immediately getting outside, getting around nature, getting around trees will immediately start to raise your vibration and moving, moving around, okay? Moving around, getting your energy flowing, okay? And this is what Archangel Michael's message is for you. Okay, Archangel Raphael, what messages do you have for pile one? What can they do to start to align with their path? What, he what healing messages do you have for them? What guidance or what do you what is manifesting? Let's see what's going on with them. What else do you have for pile one, Archangel Raphael? Exercise is key. <laughs> Get outside, okay? 
Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me and guiding me to an exercise program that fits my schedule, interests, and budget. Okay, some of us don't do well going to a gym. Some of it's boring, you know. Um, I just, I like for me, for example, like where my my um, work is, um, I work like off shift hours, and there's a gym that's open 24 hours, and I literally kind of pass it on the way home every day so for me it's just a little bit easier and I'm already awake for me it's easier to do it right after work instead of getting up early in the morning but so not gyms are not for everybody it's boring and it's like a mundane some people don't like to be around everybody else but I think for a lot of you you need to get outside and this is where you're gonna find your like your you're gonna find your niche kind of of exercise that you like to do whether it's hiking um yeah, just walking outside, walking your dogs, like whatever it is that you want. I think it's definitely for you, this pile one uh, exercise outside is, is really going to be so beneficial for you. So, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me. Oh, I think I reread this already. So, that's Archangel Raphael. Okay, let's see here. Let's get a message from the Romance Angels for all of you. Because I I look at it like this. A lot of people that are into yoga, meditation, all these things, um, they kind of look at it like, okay, I need to get rid of my ego. I need, I need to ascend, right? But we're still here to enjoy this earth plane also. So it, it's we, there needs to be a balance. So anyway, that's why I like to kind of pull these cards um, and see what we're, we're kind of manifesting right now. So any messages, romance angels for pile one? Pile one, any messages from pile one? Release your ex. Okay, this is a message from the romance angels, and this is um this message from walking away for not, this may not resonate for a lot of you, but um, this is a clear message that there's um, possibly some stagnant energy. Like um, maybe some of you are afraid to leave an old situation because it's like a comfortable, comfortable. You're comfortable, and that necessarily not necessarily that it's a horrible negative situation, but sometimes we stay because. Um, we're afraid of change and afraid of uh, letting go of something old and yeah starting something new can be so scary so um, yeah the time has come to clear your energy and also this may not necessarily be uh, a, an actual like romantic relationship this could be a friendship also or releasing people from an old job that you know because you know the people that we work with sometimes we're with them more than we are with our own families or partners so this is definitely about releasing some kind of relationship here all right, let me get a message from the Lover's Oracle. Okay, Lover's Oracle. What messages do you have for Pile of One? Lover's Oracle. Spirit, what messages do you have for Pile of One? forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine okay so i definitely think that um for some of you this uh this energy here about leaving in a situation there's a lot of uh forgiveness that needs to happen in this situation whether it was a work situation a relationship um partner that we were with uh friendship family even there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to happen because when we hold on to this stuff uh these things our energy is still with that right whatever we are focusing on our energy is that so our energy becomes displaced and things start to become hard to manifest because our energy is like all over the place and when we remove our energy from these things that we that no longer serve us we can then focus our energy onto things and also forgiveness it just helps us to heal and not hold on to that poison okay so let's get a message from the uh, abundance angels abundance angels what messages do you have for pile one 
So I think all these messages, even though like I'm kind of asking also what's going on with you right now, they're also giving messages on how you can move on to align yourself better and move on to a better energy, okay? Focus if you take the time to clear away clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well. All right, this makes sense. You know, decluttering your energy by forgiving, releasing stuff here, getting, walking away from things. And also for some of you, your actual like things in your house or decluttering the mind as well. All right, so let's get the message from the uh, mermaid the, so now i want to get a, like a direct message from the other dimensions the mermaid and dolphin spirits what messages do you have for pile one solitude indulging in much needed self-care yeah so for a lot of you that moved on from this situation make sure you take time out for yourself okay because this will definitely move your energy into that beautiful space that it needs to be in okay and then we're going to get a message from the magical dimensions and then i'll read the message that i channeled don't remember really what I wrote for each pile if I wrote it like a nice little paragraph for each one so I don't remember which one it was for each pile but I think it would make sense magical dimensions what messages do you have for pile one adventure innocence play discovery so this is this beautiful energy that I was seeing here once you start to move away from that, there's so much. And look, doesn't it look like a, a vortex kind of? This energy here, it's like, remember I was saying like you're kind of like standing here and the energy here is like that cyclone of beautiful energy is waiting for you to just step in. It's waiting for you guys to just start taking those initial steps and wants to pull you in to the beautiful flow of fulfillment that you are meant to be living, okay? So this is beautiful energy coming, adventures coming for many of you. Innocence, look at life with innocence, okay? Here, heal yourself of this old stagnant energy that's been holding you back, that's been making you sad. Let it go. Learn how to play, go outside. Go outside, play sports if you want to, but definitely go outside, discovery. There's gonna be new energy of like, you're discovering new people, new energies coming to you, okay? So that's the message from the Magical Dimensions, and then I will read the um, message I read back for pile one. Okay, look at this. Well, this is, a, this is pile two here, but okay, so this is the question I asked. How can they better align with their path kind of write sloppy when I'm like going through because I, I don't want to miss anything um how can they get it closer to their path right so immediately I saw twirling the cyclone dancing movement energy healing a lot of you would get benefit from energy healing vortex I oh my god I'm telling you like I was seeing this like spinning the wheel of fortune here a lot of you um I don't know if you uh know about Abraham um Abraham Hicks um I forgot the name of the woman. I will link it. I will find it before I post this video and I will link everything below. But if they have a vortex meditation. Look that up. Just put vortex meditation on YouTube and it should pop up and it, it should come up Abraham Hicks. Okay, step out, stepping into your vortex. Um, 
vortex meditation from Abraham Hayes, okay? Swimming, water. I'm definitely seeing like, yeah, water, cleansing, okay? So um, a lot of you need to move. Basically, that's what I'm getting. Movement, getting into water, and water is very cleansing too. Take salt baths. Uh, small steps so you, don't, so you don't get overwhelmed. Take one step at a time. Implement that and it will start to make changes in your energy body. Then take the next step up to up the ladder, the next ring, rung in the ladder. Implement that and you change for a little bit and that will start to manifest the changes in your energy as, right, as well until it becomes you also. Step by step, you will have been way into your new journey, okay? So this is all about stepping into the new journey. I hope this makes sense for you. Please let me know in the messages in the comments below, okay? Have a beautiful Thank weekend. Thank you, the tarot and uh, the Heiseiki crystal, Reiki crystal. All right, so um, this meth, this reading is going to be on basically messages from the universe and how you can better align with your path and walking get steps to basically what what you can do to get better to get closer to your life purpose type of thing you're into where you, the flow that you need to get into okay so we'll start with that and um i will read you the message that i kind of scripted before i did that kind of did a meditation for each pile and we'll see what the tarot and the, the spirit wants to tell us and um i think i forgot to mention for pile one but um, if any of you are interested in a reading or a remote energy healing, I have all my information in the description box below. Okay, and that will bring you a, a that will bring you to my link tree where you can actually click on um, to get to my website, and it, I have all my links there. All right, so let's see here, Spirit for Pile Two. What can you do to better align with their path or take steps to get to their path? What can you do to get? here can be speaking about like maybe delays and like um the way we're some people in this pile may be looking at the situations um in their life like maybe with not how can i say this the like when we look at things and we're not being completely mature about it or we're not looking at it the way we are supposed to like this can be like lack of communication um so what spirit is saying here is with the high priestess we need to some of us in this pile need to maybe look into ourselves and kind of like reassess how we're looking at things what filter we're looking at the world through okay so the page of swords is all about like if i feel like messages coming in right so what messages i'm sorry the pages all the pages usually like a lot of the pages are talking about messages coming in like energy coming in also um so these messages that are coming in how are we viewing them what filter are we looking through what lens are we looking at and the high priestess is telling you what a spirit is saying is they want you to look in do an internal assessment of how you're viewing the world okay maybe do some contemplation work do some inner work meditations connecting with your spirit team okay because i think for some of you maybe like the stress of whatever's been going on has had maybe skewed some of our uh, our viewpoints on things. Maybe instead of looking at, I know things can be difficult, especially when we're dealing with negative people or negative, or like a situation maybe seemed uh, seemingly negative. Um, it can skew our our the way we look at things. And instead of like looking at like maybe uh, looking at somebody, for example, and 
looking at okay why are they behaving this way where ha- where could they have come from or what what life experiences could that person have gone through to make them behave in this way and looking at it from that lens and kind of with a compassion in a way instead of like oh like maybe looking at looking for the negative in everybody and that's basically what spirit is kind of saying they want a lot of you have this compassion but maybe life has skewed things in a little bit of a way for you but here we have this knight of wands here this this uh fast energy this like fire energy coming in um this what spirit what i'm getting here from what spirit is saying this inner this this inner work that they want you to do well will help you to start to assess things in a different way to look at things from a different angle and this met these messages will start to become clear and this this will then have help you to move this into this energy this fire energy this fast movement where before maybe you were a lot of you could have been maybe indecisive about maybe going into certain areas of let's say uh, a new a new job or like a new department at your work for example maybe like you thought negatively of that like oh the, uh, I heard this and this about this place or or moving to this place maybe moving to a different state or a different country I heard this and this and this about it I don't think that would work out for me once you start to remove these blocks of uh looking at things with uh, maybe a negative lens this fire and this energy is going to come and it's going to help you move so much quicker like things will start to open up for you so it's basically what I'm sensing here is like more of like an inner an inner adjustment of our views right and spirit really wants to work with a lot of you you're getting a lot a lot of you are getting messages through your dreams a lot of a lot of uh, ideas coming to you but some of some of us sometimes we kind of like to tend to ignore that because maybe we're busy or whatever we don't want to face that it's kind of because a lot of times inner work can be very hard but spirit really really wants you to do that because they said they're saying that once you start to do this inner work right this inner contemplation this uh uh, work with the subconscious, you know, removing those blocks, doing these affirmations to start to change um, our inner compass, kind of our the way we look at ourselves, even because I really feel that it, even if it's just not because this may not resonate with all, a lot of you or all of you, this this viewpoint, the way you're looking at things, it may not even have anything to do with other people. It may have to do with the way you look at yourself. So once we remove these blocks, I'm seeing spirit say they this. This movement, this fast energy is going to be coming in. Okay, so this is good. All right, let's get a message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what can Pile 2 do to help them with this and move into better alignment to raise their vibration to get in flowing towards their purpose? What can Pile 2 do, Archangel Michael, to help them? What is your guidance for Pile 2, Archangel Michael? have confidence okay that makes sense because like I was saying this um negative where it may be a um, lack of maturity with looking at certain things um I think if it's not the way you're looking at other people it's definitely the way you're looking at yourself have confidence okay this is the prayer Archangel Michael please lend me your courage and fortitude help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom strength love creativity abundance and health allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways all right yes he wants you to work on your confidence do this inner work work on your confidence um I know a lot of people don't like to do affirmations but I really do think uh they do work when we do like a consistent a consistent type thing because I know for me anyway affirmation sometimes I say stuff and I'm like it it like makes something churn inside me like that's not true that's not right but when we do this on a regular basis and working on ourselves doing things that we love that'll start to gain the confidence doing what it like basically look back to your childhood what did you love to do I feel like a lot of people in this pile things maybe that we have experienced skewed our 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 viewpoint on on life on how we approach relationships on how we're approaching uh different aspects of our of our life whether it's work school 
anything, anything, anything in, in our life, you know, when our viewpoint is skewed, we look, we start to approach things in a certain light and that will in turn manifest things that we may not like. So Archangel Michael wants you to work on your confidence. Working on your solar, sorry, working on your solar plexus for a lot of you, okay? Um, this, uh, uh, there's lots of meditations on YouTube uh, for the solar plexus. I think I made a little uh, solar plexus meditation, um, and I could post that below in the description, in the, um, in the description box. I could post a link for that. Um, working with the confidence. Imagine the color yellow in your solar plexus area, okay? All right. Let's see here. Archangel Raphael, what messages do you have for Pile 2? I can help them start to walk into the alignment. Thank you for your miraculous intervention and healing energy, which has restored the health of whatever, um, you can put any person's name here, but um, Archangel Raphael is like already working with a lot of you. You've been, a lot of you have been already asking for help with this, with your confidence, with the way you look at things, um, maybe negative patterns that have um, continuously shown up in your, in your, in your life that you're trying to heal from and possibly negative um, situations that might have happened to us in the past. Archangel Raphael is healing you. He's healing you with this. Okay, let's see. Um, let, uh, messages from the Romance Angels. Like I was saying with Pile 1, I know that like I love doing readings like this where we're um, looking on how we can change our energy and, and that's a big, huge part of it, but also we're living in the same on the earth and we need to enjoy life on earth so i like to get messages what we're manifesting right now romance angels do you have any messages for pile two on relationships friendships matters of the heart archangels um, romance angels do you have messages for pile two Deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, a lot of you. This is all about confidence. A lot of you working with your heart chakra too. Do things for yourself. All right. Do things for yourself. You deserve it. This pile deserves it. All of you are beautiful beings with your own individual spark and divine light. Okay. And you deserve. Do things for yourself, especially on Fridays. Fridays is uh, the day of Venus. Okay. Uh, pamper yourself if you want to go to get a pedicure manicure whatever get your hair done you know it's okay to spend money on yourself you don't have to feel guilty okay do things for yourself all right and you will start to vibrate at that okay lover's oracle let's get a message from the lover's oracle too it's all about the heart chakra how can they align themselves better surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed this very moment all right if this is not to do with an actual relationship spirit is telling you that they want you to heal heal yourself and this will manifest and like bring in that those loving vibes around you and you will attract the right people to you and also heal your present relationship if that's what's needed okay so we're going to ask the abundance angels what messages they have regarding your prosperity, what you can do to help you align with uh, your purpose more too, and what messages they have, abundance angels, what messages do you have for Pile 2? Abundance angels, what messages do you have for Pile 2? Do the work. 
work, okay? It's not enough to dream or pray. You're also, you've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. All right, definitely. If any of you have been getting any nudges from spirit or things that you are kind of like, oh, I really want to do this, they want you to consistently do this work, all right? And also, what I'm hearing, what I'm getting the sense of is a lot of you, um, when you do consistent work and you're working towards a project and you actually complete it, this gives you such a confidence boost. For some of you, I think that maybe some of you, um, might give up sometimes before you're actually done with a project or whatever you're trying to manifest. You just give up and you don't put in the work and spirit is really urging you and nudging you that this will so benefit your confidence levels and your energy levels. You're going to become a different person when you start to do the work on yourself consistently, doing that self-care also. All right. Let's, so let's get, um, now I want to get the messages from the other dimensions. So I'm going to ask the, da the dolphin and uh, the dolphin and mermaid spirits what messages they have for pile two. Dolphin and dolphin and mermaid spirits. Positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. This is, all these messages are really, really um, just, you know, like, like coming together. Okay, and finally, messages from the magical dimensions. Okay, magical dimensions, what messages do you have for pile two? Celestial assistance, angelic messages, guidance, enlightenment. Yeah, a lot of you are being surrounded and nudges from spirit here. They want to connect with you. They want to help you to heal. Okay, just call on them. They're there. They just want to, they just need your, they need your permission to step in. Angelic messages, really connect. Ask Archangel Michael to protect a lot of you. They, they want to guide you. They, and they, they're trying to um, bring you this enlightenment. They want you to start to looking at the world, to start looking at the world with different eyes, okay? These are the messages. And now I'm going to read what I, I, I scripted. Okay. So pile number two, all right. Uh, okay, so that's a few words that came up. Building, creation, okay? I was like seeing a lot of you working with your hands like uh, I also saw like Legos kind of like a lot of you are very creative like builders um, you can create things with your hands and this this working doing the work doing that a lot of you have had this in the back burner kind of like like a side hustle type of thing that you really didn't pay attention to but they really want you to work on this this creation is you putting your energy into this creation is going to give a lot of you this huge confidence boost Okay, let me just keep reading. Making things with your hands, blocks, jewelry, using the sacral energy to strengthen the creative, your creative juices. Many thoughts and ideas and back of mind. Bring that into being. It will, it will manifest into beauty and bring you happiness. With that, will blossom. Re, it will blossom renewed confidence in your abilities, and with that, taking the right steps 
in your path. Okay, it says, renew your confidence. And then in big letters I wrote, do not let others, do not let others take you down. Disengage from um, negative people, okay? Because you get, you get affected by a lot of negative, um, not a lot of negative people, but you get affected if there's like a lot of people that are thinking in a negative way and you start to view things the way they are, kind of. So literally, it's so it's so true. What we keep around us, we start to vibrate at that level. So try to keep yourself around um, d- different types of people. Bring yourself outside. You know, just get yourself in a like in a creative like put yourself around creative people. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, I hope all of you have a beautiful weekend. So we're going to start your reading. Um, and um, I mentioned in a pile two, I think I forgot to mention in pile, okay, so I'm sorry. This is a Chocoray pile three. You picked uh, the angel the angel deck and the Chocoray uh, Reiki stone. Okay, and before I start, if any of you are interested in a reading or remote energy healing, I do remote Busu Reiki on people and pets. So if you're interested, you can click on my link in the description box below and it will bring you to my website. Um, for, there's a link also there's a link for readings and a link for energy healing as well so let's start so this reading is about how can we better align to our purpose and you know any messages from the universe so um as always you know we try to um work on ourselves in this incarnation and try, you know a lot of us ascend getting rid of the ego but we also live here we we came to experience this earth experience so um we need to enjoy our lives here too, whether it's with relationships, having um, fulfillment like with resources, like having all the resources that we need, you know, laughter and, you know, enjoying life. Oh my God, this, this two came, these three came out. All right. Let me pull these aside, see if there's any messages there, but let's, let's keep um, shuffling. So let's see here, pile three. What messages, Spirit, do you have for pile three? to our alignment right let me just so a lot of a lot of us in this pile the nine of the nine of air the nine of swords is usually the card of like nightmares and stressed out feeling overwhelmed right so this card here is expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies prophecies sleepless nights so a lot of us here are super stressed out we're overwhelmed with like things that we're thinking about um and because of that not being able to sleep you know, um, the stress carrying over into our dreams even. So spirit wants you to work on this. This getting out of this energy is going to help you get into step into the, into the right path. So um, when we feel like this, that basically, and a lot of the cards for the Nine of Swords, there's always like the person kind of sitting in bed with their hand, head like in their hands and there's like a usually like a in a lot of my decks there's like a window in the in the in the card right this little sunlight coming up like the sun is rising right so what that meaning of that card to me is we're so overwhelmed in our minds 
overthinking things that we're not realizing how it's not that bad. It's like literally worse in our head than it actually is in reality. So what Spirit is trying to say that we need to just step out of this energy and realize that things are not as bad as we were making it out. It's literally worse in our heads. Like we literally, our minds can be our own prisons, right? So there's good energy coming in. We just can't focus on the stuff that's going on here. We try to move our energy into the space of where what what possible good things can be coming in or what good things are going on in our lives right now that um that we could focus on to kind of move our energy from that from from focusing on maybe energy that we don't want right so what we focus our energy on it starts to shift okay so if we're constantly focusing on these stressful uh stressful situations people places things whatever's going on we're literally focusing on that and it's amplifying that energy right so when we start to shift even if it's only for a couple minutes a day we try to move our energy into a space of of hope and light you know trying to uh focus on things that we want to happen and and we even have like a little glimpse of hope and happiness that starts to shift the energy into the right direction. And that's a good energy to go. So here at the Eight of Cups, Spirit is literally telling you to walk away from this energy, right? And there can also be some situations that are stressing you out and it, um, we'll pull some more, more cards out and I think that's why these three came out possibly. But um, the, the Eight of Cups, they want you to walk away from this. Whatever situation, no matter how bad it is, there's always a choice, right? There's always a choice. Even though we feel like there is no choice, there's always a choice that we can move away from this. So a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth, all right? And we have the chariot card here. And the chariot card is all about movement to me, but it's also about... So this guy has his energy, right? He's focusing this way. He has the reins on these two horses, right? If he lets go of the reins and just lets them run wherever they want, they're going to go wherever. They can literally run him off a cliff. So what the energy with the, what I always get with the chariot card, we have to focus our energy. And this is what I'm getting the, the, uh, the main message from spirit is they want you to focus your energy, right? And like deliberately move it from this this focusing on, on uh, certain things that might not be beneficial for you and try to move, focus it on, on your goals, your priorities, like, uh, and, and that energy shift, um, will bring in these, this good energy and also not to be distracted because there could be a lot of people around you and this could be like this energy here where they're asking you to move away from that. A lot of people are distracting you and taking you away from your purpose. Okay. So an important achievement, self-discipline, is all about self-discipline, keeping your eye on the goal, right? And willpower, public recognition. So the chariot card is a really, I really do like this card, but it is about discipline too. It's like keeping your eye on the goal. Do not let yourself be distracted. So this is good. This is this is a strong energy coming in that's going to be pulling you from this. Let's pull the, let's see the other cards that came out. Ooh. A lot of energy here. Ooh. Two of Earth, okay, so Two of Pentacles, you're juggling stuff, right? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on. Maybe that's why a lot of you are a little stressed out right now. But don't worry, your um, spirit is saying that they're really proud of you because you are able, you are have, you have been able to um, manip manipulate this energy, take have control of this energy. But you, a lot of you are getting a little tired, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, some of you feel like too much is going on at once and need to make a decision, consider a more playful approach. So definitely uh, feeling like you're juggling too much at the moment, but you're, you're, you have a handle on it. Okay, so, okay, we got the balance card here, yes, okay. Uh, so Archangel Z Zadkiel, right? The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So definitely they want you, and this is like so true, um, have the direction, the strong willpower, take your energy from focusing on some things that may not be beneficial to something good because it's all about balance. When, um, when we're balanced and our energy is going in the right directions, right? Like, so, and this is all about too, like the physical too, make sure you're eating right at the right times. You're eating good food, good nutritious food. You're exercising, 
right? Even doing meditations if you can, or if, if you can't sit down, at least go outside and have some time to, your, to yourself, maybe journaling. Spirit really wants all of you to balance all of your energies, right? Make sure that nothing is lacking, lacking in that. Like, you're not, um, that you're not sacrificing yourself to get, uh, to take care of other people. You need to have balance and take care of yourself. And this is going to improve your energy levels, okay? Uh, and the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups here, a contented and rewarding family, life, your emotional, material needs are, are met, trustworthy relationships. This is all going to bring, that when you start to um, shift your energy from this, this is actually the, the, your guides and everything, really literally telling you step by step on how you can start to get to this point here, the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups, okay? This shifting and having that discipline and making sure nobody is distracting you from you taking care of yourself, which is your is your right, you know, having that balance, all right? Taking care of yourself, making sure you are not giving from an empty cup. You're gonna have these beautiful manifestations coming. One second. Okay, so we're going to get a messages uh, now from Archangel Michael. So Michael what message do you have for pile three? Archangel Michael. I think that's another reason why the three popped out it's really spirit wants you they're really proud of all, a lot of you in this pile and they just really want you to focus on yourself and get your mind out of um, um, the the stuff that's been stressing you out they really want you to focus on yourself and bring that balance into your life okay Archangel Michael what messages do you have for pile three by angels yeah a lot of you um, might be worried about your home life the situation at home they are protecting you Archangel Michael is protecting me I will read the prayer for you Archangel Michael thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door ensuring its security thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent mortgage or taxes there is always a choice and there's always a, like there um, you know, you can always ask for help, like, you know, like, don't ever, they're definitely saying that they don't want you to ever feel ashamed for asking for help, but like, yeah, a lot of, a lot of your thoughts have been on your home life, and, um, Archangel Michael is protecting you, ask Archangel to, to protect you, and remember that the angels cannot step in unless we, we ask them, okay, so, Archangel Michael it wants you to know that you are being protected. Let me go, let me ask for another message from him. What guidance do you have for pile three? What guidance do you have for pile three, Archangel on your targeted intention the chariot oh my gosh it's so crazy how these messages like kind of all coincide right okay my prayer thank you archangel michael for helping me fo to focus on my inner vision and intention i ask for your guidance and releasing any fears or doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams that's so beautiful okay um archangel Raphael, what messages do you have for pile others and matters regarding my family and home wow these all these messages are coinciding what was i saying before don't be ashamed to ask for help don't be afraid to ask for help people will help you i have this problem too um 
asking for help because we put ourselves out there. We feel vulnerable. What if they say no? What if they? What are they? What, what will they think of me? Don't worry about that. Okay. Um, this will help your energy to shift. Being able to receive. Okay. Let's see. Um, uh, romance angels. What messages do you have for pile three? What messages do you have for pile three? if you can a lot of you um, there's going to be opportunities um, things coming up you're going to be meeting people I'm getting, I just got this message in my head there's going to be uh, some situations coming up hopefully in the near future I'm hearing um, where you're going a lot of you will have a decision to make where you, you can move away from the area that you're at um, or an opportunity like a job opportunity where you have to move also and spirit wants you to take that opportunity and not to be afraid okay romance angels what messages do you have for pile three what messages do you have for relationship um, matters friendships or whatever control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally yeah if you're um overly worried and you're overly thinking about things just let the angels and let your guides um lead you to where you need to go with that the situation is being taken care of okay allow it to unfold unfold on nat naturally okay and don't over overthink things and over stress about stuff okay let's say the lover's oracle what messages the lover's oracle has this is all about healing the heart too okay Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Oh my gosh. Control issues here. A lot of you have to let go of a situation. A lot of you, and this will help you. This this is a um, possibly that was a stagnant in situation that you were in that was keeping your vibration, your um your energy levels low and this moving away from this and letting go of that is going to bring you into such beautiful energy okay all right let's and then let's ask the abundance angels what messages they have for you the abundance angels i'll be asking about what we what guidance they have that could help with prosperity or abundance watching me shuffle <laughs> this is crazy oh my goodness how this all is coming together have courage to ask for and accept help asking for help is a sign of strength as it is accepting it at, as is accepting it as it is offered to you very often when you ask God for help prayers are answered through other people be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided oh my gosh this is going to help your vibe so much you're People are coming in to help you. I, I really, I really heard that. Okay, let's ask the uh, mermaid and dolphin spirits, the guides from the other dimensions. The guides from the other dimensions. Let me move this down. Sorry, pile 
time to move on. Oh my goodness. You guys, this 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 pile is like oh my amazing how all these cards are just flowing together. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. I don't even I have nothing to add to that, but it speaks for itself. My goodness. Okay, and let's ask for the magical dimension cards here from your guides from the alternate the other dimensions. And then I will read what I wrote in my, um, what I scripted, okay? Pile three, spirit, magical dimensions, guides from the other dimensions. What messages do you have for pile three? What messages do you have for pile three? Oh my gosh, uh, solar plexus right here. Confidence. You guys need help with your confidence, okay? Being centered, balancing power, balance, balance, okay? Where did I get the balance card? Right here, balance, okay? Manipulation, yes. Um, this two of, the two of pentacles here and the balance card, they want you to be balanced and make sure that you are taking care of yourself because there's some manipulative, manipulative energy around you that you need to disengage from and dis, uh, uh, detach yourself from, okay? But they really want you to work. A lot of you need to work on your solar plexus. This is the energy center below your um, rib cage. Imagine this beautiful yellow color, okay? And I have... Um, I have a solar plexus meditation, a little meditation that I, I kind of put together, and I'll link it in my descri descri description box if you want to look at that. And um, there's tons of solar plexus energy um, meditations and music on YouTube that you could find. Um, 528 hertz is a solfeggio frequency that will help to empower this energy center, okay? You guys need to rebuild your confidence, all right? Be centered, you need to balance yourself work, pay attention to yourself, move your energy from this other situation to yourself. Okay, and I'm going to read, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to read what I scripted for pile three, okay? Okay, spark. I'm seeing, oh yeah, I saw spark when I was doing this, um, when I was meditating on this. Healers, a lot of you are healers and a lot of you will benefit from uh, energy healing as well. Bringing light into this world, uplifting people. You are an uplifter. Like you, when you tell your story, or when you are able to tell your story, uh, you are going to be bringing people like up. Okay, you are like literally. What that's what spirit was telling me. A lot of you are a spark when you walk into a room. Solar. Oh my gosh, I wrote that. Solar heart throat. So yes, this is what spirit was telling me. A lot of you need to work on your solar plexus, your heart chakra. And the throat because a solar plex is all about confidence right a lot of you um, need to help uh, balance this area work on it and to heal the heart because the heart has been hurt out for some of you because of some past um, situations so the solar plexus yellow energy heart green energy right healing receiving love giving love okay um some of us and when we get our heart broken we want to protect it and we kind of close it off but we need to work on this heart and the throat opening um your mouth to speak your truth being able to speak okay speaking up for yourself okay so when you're working on this the solar plexus heart chakra and the throat this is going to help all of you heal healing therapy helping people to gain confidence oh my goodness healing the heart and being able to speak up for yourselves you must heal this in yourself first because you have been in darker places you can reach down to these dark places to lift people out of their sadness and misery oh my god literally like i was channeling that you must be very diligent in your own energy work so you do not get inundated or overwhelmed and sucked down into other like negative energy and this was all spirit talking about this balance here that a lot of you need to make sure that you are very diligent about okay People will feel connection because you understand where they have been. Doing this will move you into the right direction of your path, okay? So working on yourself first before you 
start to you don't want to pour from an empty cup you work on yourself first and this is kind of like a, a path that spirit said it can be open for you that a lot of you will be able to help others and be a healer for others when you heal yourself you will heal others and by healing others you continue to heal yourself okay i hope this makes sense for a lot of you and i hope um all of you have a beautiful weekend and let me know in the comments if this made sense and resonated okay have a beautiful uh beautiful weekend